Hi, all. I'm Dan Smigrod, founder of the We Get Around Network Forum. Today is Thursday, October 27th, 2022, and you're watching WGAN-TV Live at 5. We have a remarkable show for you today. Intro to Remark.re, traffic-aware instant booking service for real estate photographers. And here to show and tell us about it is Remark founder and CEO, Alex Gustafsson. Alex, good to see you again. Great to see you too, Dan. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me on. on. Thank you, Alex. Thanks for being on the show today. Alex, before we jump into show and tell of the Remark.re platform, give us your backstory. It's relevant to what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, about 10 years ago, I started a real estate photography and video company, um, and we quickly grew uh, to have multiple photographers and and offer Matterport and other services like that. Um at the time, I mean, early on, we we were kind of competing with helicopter companies and uh, building our own drones um, when you couldn't really buy them. Um, so, so was really involved in in the technology side of real estate photography, and that's what really set us apart and um, and kept me focused and happy on on all the day to day with all the random things that come about throughout your average real estate photographer's day. And you started as, as one photographer, you, and then you grew into more. And what kind of problems that happened as a result of that, that resulted in our conversation today? Yeah. Um, so as we grew, it was hard to keep track of files and everything like that. I mean, even before we started bringing on additional people, when it was just me, it was very hard to take bookings while I was out on shoots or deliver files, obviously editing files and, and all that's a challenge too. Um, but what really killed me was when I would be out shooting and I didn't have service or personally, I try to shut my phone off or my ringer off while I'm on site and focused on something. Um, and then I would come out and try to be calling people back while it's on my way to the next shoot. Um, and that was just extremely stressful. Um, it took a lot of the fun out of the day to day, but, but also I would lose bookings every once in a while. Cause you would, you know, you get the, the occasional person that ends up calling somebody else, um, especially clients that have never used you before. And maybe we're going to give you a shot. And if you don't end up picking up right away. Um, they, they're they more likely to go elsewhere if they haven't used you yet. Okay, um, so an abundance of problems based on uh, trying to do your shoot and also accept bookings, and then obviously some coordination challenges among photographers. Uh, so then what happened? Um, so we actually had to hire a uh, somebody to help with dispatching and they would be answering the phone, answering emails. We we then kind of made it so we had a forum that people would come on and, you know, select the time that they want and there would be back and forth still. Um, so we did that for a while and then we tried to make an instant booking form that showed the the customers where we would be. It would show just the zip code of where we would be and we released that. Um, and sure enough, the, our customers just didn't really care about the, where it said we would be, they would just book, they wouldn't really do the math of the travel time. So that didn't work. Um, so we kind of went back to the manual dispatching person for a while. Um, and then, uh, a little bit ago, we ended up building an algorithm that actually pulls in traffic data and scans the calendar. Um, in the future, based off your locations and everything like that, um, and the size of the property, and it does the scheduling based on all of that. So that's kind of why we're here today. So you you had uh, a, a thriving real estate photography agency business, multiple photographers. You literally built the platform you're going to show us today in, in order to service your business. And I imagine, aha, 
this is a really awesome platform. I should offer it to other photographer, other real estate photographers. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Great. You know, Let, so, let's, yeah. let's take a look at remark.re. And uh, let's assume that you're a real estate agent. So we'll just focus first on the, the booking side to experience remark.re traffic aware instant booking service for real estate photographers from the real estate agent's perspective. Sure. All right. So let me share my screen. While Alex is doing that, you can check out the website www.remark.re. Yes. I think that's like French Reunion Islands or something like that. Um, all right. So, uh, so yeah, if we're pretending we're just a real estate agent or a booker of a service, this is the this is the page they would see um, on your photography website. You could embed it in your own website. This I don't have embedded in my own website. It's just like a blank background. Um, so imagine your website is is behind it. Um, this is the landing page area. So they come on and all of your services pop up. So these are just demo services right now. Um, so I probably could have put a little more thought into the descriptions and things like that. But um, I just wanted to show the how everything looks and it's it's very uh, visual. So they can hop on and see different um, portfolios and flip through your portfolio and see an expanded description along with your um, tagline for each service. And you get the you get the main service title. You get a tagline like a subtitle. Um, you can set the duration. Sorry, I'm I'm talking to a photographer. I'll pretend I'm talking to a booker. Uh, so makes it easy to see what you're going to get. And so after looking at this, if I want to add this service, I can add it right into the cart. And then I can go back. Sorry, I've got the screen share controls. I can't see the top of this. All right. So, um, so let's say now we want to go on and, and move forward and book. Um, uh, all the for before I move forward, actually, let me just say a couple quick things. So I've already put in the property details. So here's the address I put in in the square footage. Um, and as a booker, um, these these details are prompted if I didn't put it in already and I went to select a service and um, there's no prices given until, all the relevant details are entered. Um, so I had I'd shown you the view uh, after I had already put in that information. And that's how these prices here are calculated um, based on the, the pricing methodologies inside those. So then I can hop on here and um, I can select a date or a time that works for me. Um, and I can look around, I see that these ones have a, a fee, um, and then I can see other days, um, or I can continue to book. So I'm going to say I want 1 p.m. on the second, and I'm going to move forward and go to book. Um, and this is a, just a simple checkout page. Uh, and I can review the cancellation policy here and anything else that um, might be relevant. And I can decide if I want to change any details or move forward. Um, assuming everything's good, I'm just going to click place booking. And then you end up on this booking confirmation page. Um, so let's say I have some uh, friends or an assistant that needs to come. I can just copy this. URL and share this with anybody. So it's a secure URL that anybody involved in the booking has access to. Um, and there's uh, 
the cancellation policy, all the services that I've ordered, the appointment notes, so that anybody that has this link will understand what is going to happen at this appointment. Um, and then should there be an issue, I can go on here and, and click cancel, um, and then I'll be able to reschedule or, or whatever needs to be done. And as real estate photographers know, that's quite frequent, um, you know, anywhere between 10 to 30 percent, depending on the time of year of appointments, I think get canceled or rescheduled. Um, it was a lot higher during COVID in 2020, but those numbers uh, are still a lot. So it's always good to have a self-serve kind of method. And um, I was kind of nervous at first about giving our customers the ability to self-cancel. Um, but uh, it, you know, I just didn't want people to abuse it. And I noticed that nothing really changed about the amount of cancellations that, um, that were actually canceled, but, but, uh, the, the number of relevant bookings or, or valid bookings increased. Um, so, okay. Uh, so that, was, that was easy. That was easy for a real estate agent to go on and book is, uh, first to put in the property, uh, address. And, yes. and and then to uh, look at the available services. Uh, and uh, I think had we stayed on that page, I think what, what we would have seen is that uh, whether it was photos, videos, aerial, uh, uh, Matterport, or some other service that, that the real estate agent could look at a portfolio of multiple examples by service. Exactly, yes. Before we move on to the real estate photographer to see how this is done on the back end, anything else from the perspective of the person, the real estate agent that's booking a service? Yeah. Um, so, so what you didn't see there was when the bookings actually place, the photographer gets an email um, just confirming that the booking's been placed. The agent gets an email, uh, and then both parties also get a confirmation text message as well. Um, and then same goes if there's any cancellation or rescheduling. Um, the other thing on this particular portfolio, I didn't have any video or embedded content in any of the services, but we just released a feature that allows you to upload um, video and embed. You can place an embed code into the gallery. So it treats those just like a portfolio item. Okay, great. So uh, let's say I'm ready. I'm a real estate photographer. I'm ready to sign up. Do you want to take us through the process? Sure. Yeah. So um, why don't so you onboard, or, onboard me? All right. So I don't know how soon I can start in the onboarding process because I've already kind of done it and you ah. have to connect your calendar. Um, ah. Okay. So uh, with respect of uh, time, I'll just kind of explain that step quickly. So on our homepage, remark.re, you click sign up. And um, we have a couple packages right now. Um, there's a free package and then there's a premium package. Um, and when you choose a package uh, and sign up, it'll take you through the onboarding process. So the first thing you have to do is set your address, your home location. This could be your office or wherever you spend the most time or wherever you're typically leaving for shoots from or starting your day or ending your day from. Um, so once you set that, you'll be taken to connect your calendar. And this is why I've already connected my calendar. So I'd have to go and like unauthorize and- Yes, okay. So you, you've uh, synced to your Google calendar. Exactly. So that's the only step that's missing. And then you, you're you plopped right here on the service setup page. Yeah. And this page, uh, by default, we create a handful of services for you. Um, and so you don't have to create them from scratch. You can, you can disable them um, or just build off of them. But we figured it was easier to just see what it was and get to mess around with it. Uh, from the start, then have to create a bunch of services first just to test it out. So we we add some services for you that you can delete if you want or just build off of them. They're pretty basic standard okay, why, services. Uh, excuse me. Why, why don't we go into maybe Matterport and floor plan? 
Sure. All right. So, so then once you hop in, um, you'll see a pretty simple uh, service editor. You can edit the, I always go back and forth on whether this is one or two words. I personally think it should be one, but pretty sure it's two. Um, so then you could fill in all the, all the details. Your subtitle obviously shows up right below. Let's say that's the only change I have. Then you can go into time. So the fixed amount of time and the minutes per thousand square feet. So these are your fixed and your variable amount of time. And it's important that you set these based on your experience. Um, if you're new, we're always happy to help and give some suggestions. This for me is plenty of time. Um, and it's kind of, we've kind of dialed in these numbers over the years. Um, you know, obviously Matterport's getting faster. Um, but as a rule of thumb, I mean, this is a pretty general assumption for how long it'll take. So you've got your fix, which is how much time does it take you to set up and um, and get started? And then based on each uh, thousand square feet, so if the home's 3,000 square feet, this would take an hour and 20 minutes. Um, and then this is where you put your turnaround time, and this shows up to the customer on the booking page. Um, so this can be anything you want, really. Um, best to keep it short. And then over here is where you can add um, items to your portfolio for this uh, particular service. So you can actually just hit the three little dots. This is the new feature. Hit the three little dots and you can paste in an embed code or you can just put in the, um, the, the URL here and then hit add and that'll just go right into the gallery. Great, and um, then pricing? Yeah, so the pricing is up top. And so for this particular service, we have based on uh, per square foot with min and max. So pretty self-explanatory here. Um, so let's say you wanna do 249 as your floor, and let's say you want 10 cents a square feet, just for my own brain to do the math. Once you're at around 2,500 square feet, that's when the price will start to go up based on the each square foot will add 10 cents. So um, 10 more square feet, you know, it's an extra Got it. buck. So that, that's super straightforward. Uh, how do I handle bundles? So with bundles, um, what you can do right now, we have this, this Matterport and floor plan package, which is one package. Um, First, let me show you uh, real quick. So there are these other ones too, the other pricing methodologies that you can choose from. So um, mine on this is more of like a step pricing for one square foot equals one uh, unit for, uh, for price essentially. And then you can go fix um, or square footage tiers or listing price tiers. Um, to get back to your question about bundles, that's kind of a feature that we're working on right now, um, giving some more advanced ways to bundle services together and some conditions around that. So um, pre right now, so presently, the way to bundle is to just create that as a package. In this case, actually, Matterport Plus floor plan is actually a bundle. It's just a, a very simple bundle. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so this, and, this bundle could actually be Matterport, uh, photos and floor plan. And in the gallery might include Matterport, floor plans and photos as an example. Exactly, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Is there anything else to take a look at on the back end? Um, um, so this is a service icon, which is, it's kind of a placeholder. Um, you don't necessarily need to put anything in there if you don't put anything, it'll just make, um, I'm not going to save that. It'll make one of these icons for you. Yes. Um, which is kind of randomly generated. Then the next thing I would say is um, uh, with regards to bundling, um, I am looking forward to having a little bit more control over the packages uh, that, that are presented um, as bundles. However, I have to say, like from experience, we haven't had much 
of a problem just getting away with the the bundles like this like the you know there's there's not too much complexity behind it um so if you can get away with that that's probably the ideal thing anyways um that's not to say we're we're not working on that feature okay um, so i i get it on this page in terms of services so now i start to get orders uh do you want to take us into the back end to to see the order queue and how uh, you can immediately see uh, perhaps there's a calendar to take a look at. Yeah, it just it hooks up to your calendar. So that's it. I mean, it's bare bones. It is a bare bones product. There's no, you know, we built this uh, different ways and kind of figured um, there could be a lot of different ways to make this product and decided that it really was about making something that was a Swiss army knife that okay. really did a great job of finding availability and calculating your drive times and everything like that. And well, let's um, focus on that a moment. Cause that's, that's almost the secret sauce for uh remark dot R E talk to me about it. You know, I did the introduction. I say intro to remark dot R E traffic aware instant booking service. So it sounds like that sentence has two different things, instant booking. Okay, I get that. Uh, but what does traffic aware mean? How does that work? How does that work from the benefit of the real estate agent? How does that benefit from the perspective of the real estate photographer? Sure. Um, so essentially what we mean by that with the traffic aware instant booking is we actually calculate the drive time from your home or any other shoots you have, I mean, they don't have to be shoots, any other events you have on your calendar to and from the proposed location and at every time of day. So for instance, I mean, I started my company out of Boston and the traffic is atrocious there. Um, and now I live right between LA and San Diego. So, you know, not much better, uh, just seven lanes of it. Um, and, you know, at nine o'clock going into the city it could take an hour at, um, at 10 o'clock, it could take 30 minutes. Okay. So um, I, I get, I get that. So what's happening is that remark.re is looking at the estimated traffic at that hour on that day. Is that correct? Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, so how does that help the photographer? How does that help the real estate agent that you're using essentially real-time historic traffic data in terms of doing the calculations? Yeah, so a lot of options out there now either are built for uh, businesses with a fixed location or like Calendly, et cetera, um, or they go off like time blocks, things like that. Um, so by actually getting the real drive time to and from at that particular moment, you're able to maximize the amount of appointments you can put in a day um, and really make your schedule more efficient. And then by adding a travel fee, which is optional, by the way, you don't have to add a travel fee, but if you add a travel fee, and I think the address I put in on the demo, there's a fee for every single one. So kind of didn't really make a difference because it was further away than um, than I meant to type in, but you would see some have a fee and some don't. And so the person who's booking, all right, if it's nine o'clock, it has a fee because it's rush hour and then 10 o'clock doesn't have a fee. They're probably going to book 10 o'clock because it's cheaper. And if they book nine o'clock, then you're getting paid what you wanted anyways to sit in traffic. Um, so it, it works out on making your schedule more efficient in that regard, just by kind of sharing the, the pain point or tying the pain point of the agent not wanting to spend more to you not wanting to sit in traffic for no money. Um, so that's a, that's a big thing. Um, okay. So I and, see two things there. Let me just do a follow-up. So the, the, the first is without any more energy or effort on the part of the real estate photographer, a likelihood or the expectation is that you should be able to book more jobs per day because your time's being used efficiently for scheduling. Yeah. Um, Second, I mean, fully, 
fully automated during busy season, it's not uncommon for some of our people to get eight bookings in a day using this. So the other piece is, is the instant booking same day. So let's say you have five bookings as a real estate photographer already today. So I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but what's happening is, okay, remark.re knows where you're shooting today. It knows what the traffic will be when you're moving around. And so when the real estate agent enters in an address, it's the remark RE is displaying the times that are actually doable based on everything that you know in terms of how long it takes to shoot the job, how long it takes to get there, how long it takes to go to the next job. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it does all that. And uh, another you, or another case would be like, let's say you're staying at your parents' house or visiting family on Wednesday night. At the end of the day, just mark that as your end location on your calendar. And if it happens to be further away from where you normally shoot and an agent goes on, they'll see, oh, Wednesday at four o'clock or whatever is cheaper because they don't know, but the it's cheaper because the, you're going to be in the area already. Same goes if you have a shoot in the area. Um, so so let, me, let me just see if I understand that in terms of that, that the fee for mileage, for example. So uh, you, you, you booked it in, uh, you, you built the platform essentially for Boston. Uh, and so in order to avoid a photographer uh, shooting the first shoot on one side of Boston and the second shoot on the other side of Boston and the third shoot back on the first side of Boston, I mm -hmm. uh, help correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like what remark.re is doing is essentially saying to the real estate agent, hey, it's going to be cheaper to shoot this job at this time because the photographer is actually going to be there. And if you still want to send me all the way across town in order to shoot this job, you can, but I'm going to get paid to go do that. So through pricing, remark re is helping the real estate agent be efficient with the photographer's time. Yeah, um, I think could also be like a, an efficiency charge or something like that. I mean, realistically, you're, uh, it's the green thing to do is to pick the slot that's cheapest for everybody. Ah, huh. okay, awesome. Uh, so uh, we've been talking for a while. Uh, what else from a photographer standpoint would, would be helpful to know? We, we talked sure. about- uh, traffic times. We talked about syncing to Google calendar, calendar. We talked about text and email confirmations. Uh, what about a manual booking? Uh, if uh, I still have clients that want to text me and say, hey, are you free at three o'clock on Tuesday? And I already know that that client orders the following package every time that they engage me, but we could have that little shorthand in a text. Can I go into the back end of remark.re and, and just go ahead and book that? Right now, there's not really any need to. You can just continue doing that as you would normally. You can just put it right on your calendar um, and it'll register. So we won't double book you. Ah, um, so you just literally put it on your Google calendar and then that time is blocked out. And then however I handle that client with that payment mechanism. We didn't we didn't talk about payment uh, or using Stripe as the, the backend mechanism so that, that this syncs to the photographer Stripe account or something else? We are and actually in, so right now there is no paywall. Um, so that that's a feature that we're working on um, that'll probably be available soon. Um, it's in development and it is something that we have already developed and have been using, um, but we're expanding the use to other other third parties. So okay. So today um, is Thursday, October 27, 2022. If I use the platform today, it is remark.re is presently limited to traffic aware instant booking, not for the payment mechanism. Correct. But that's yeah. a feature that's coming. And it's not perhaps it's not all that far in the future because you actually use the payment mechanism for your existing real estate photography business. Exactly. Yeah, it'll be it'll be very soon, actually. Um, and uh, um, 
Sorry. I, oh, so but at the end, it does show the the pricing and everything. So the the customer is well aware of the price. Um, and you can generate an invoice based on that um, for the time being. And, uh, and right. yeah. How about uh, maximum uh, travel radius? So uh, the world's not a perfect diameter uh, around Atlanta, for example. So is, is there a drawing tool where I actually draw and say Alpharetta, Roswell, Atlanta? No, there's not. But um, but you are able to, I mean, with the travel fee, it kind of works itself out um, because it's the fees. Uh, and I think earlier, you might have said mileage based. It's actually minute based. So you set a, a fee per minute that you're forecasted to spend driving. So we'll calculate your round trip and you mark how long you're willing to travel for free. So let's say you're willing to travel 30 minutes for free to and from the listing. That's a combined 60 minutes, but the forecasted drive for rush hour is a combined two hours. So that 60 minutes above and beyond that, you can charge whatever you want. So uh, I think me, I have it marked at like two bucks a minute um, on that demo account. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex, come forward a little bit. That sunlight on your nose is driving me nuts. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You know, just stay out of it. I don't the, live in Boston we're, anymore. We're, we're, we're photographers. We care about yeah. light. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sorry. So, yeah. So, so I get it. So instead of thinking about, oh, I'm going to add 50 cents a mile or a dollar a mile, think about it. I'm adding a dollar or two dollars a minute, whatever I decide. And that essentially in Atlanta or the greater Atlanta area, or Atlanta is pretty big, but now we start talking about Roswell and Alpharetta and, uh, you know, it, all of a sudden it gets the greater Atlanta area could be really almost a half hour, hour north. Mm -hmm. So in that calculation of the travel time, that that potential client could see a big difference in the in that fee for if they book me at 9 a.m. or if they book me at 2 p.m. Because at 9 a.m. May maybe I'm in Brookhaven, but maybe 2 p.m. Uh, I'm up in Alpharetta, and then the, the next one who wants to book me is also in Alpharetta. So all of a sudden, there's, there's not this larger fee for for booking. Is, am, am I close to uh, in terms of that that travel time piece? Yes. Or is the travel time is it the travel time based on the, the 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 previous job, or is it based on where I am actually where where my home base is? Either. So if you don't have a job at all it'll go based off of your home address um or your office address and if it's and if i'm coming from a job do i have a choice to say base travel based on my office or no it's really going to do it based on where i'm coming from as my last job it'll go it'll be calculating you coming from your last job and going home so it'll it'll say uh all right, how many minutes from that appointment to this next proposed appointment? And then at the end of that, how many minutes from that appointment to home? That's your combined travel time for that particular so, spot. So in, in Atlanta, and this may be true of, of Boston or in uh, north of San Diego. Yes, Atlanta traffic is just well, as bad. So it, Atlanta, I mean, th this is Atlanta could be an hour and 20 minutes during rush hour mm -hmm. and it could be 22 minutes close to midnight so yeah. really time of day really matters of, of when you're when you're booking so it's almost two things it's time of day that the booking is happening and where i am where i am and where i am going before and after that shoot so you're calculating the travel time before and after that shoot based on, okay, I'm coming from Roswell, I'm going to Atlanta. And then after that shoot from Atlanta, I'm, I'm going to Dunwoody. And so that's all known be, be either between the, the photographer's Google calendar or, or the, 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 yeah, between the, the photographer's Google calendar 
and therefore can calculate that travel time in real time based on real historic travel data that you're doing a lookup on. Exactly. Yeah. So if you have, let's say you have two appointments already, you have one that goes from like 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then you have another one that goes from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Um, when somebody scans for availability, it'll see, okay, do you, maybe you start your day at 8 a.m. All these, like, all those things you can set on, on your Remark account. Let's say you start your day at 8 a.m. Um, it'll see if you can get that appointment done before you have to go to your 10 a.m. and actually make it there on time. And then it'll also check at 11 and see if you have the time to fit in there. Um, and obviously the time is based on the square footage of the home. Um, so, I mean, it works, it, it works really well and it'll find all the spots and it'll return it to the customer. Um, and then, you know, yeah, I mean, all the travel fees are built in. So um, at the end of the day, it'll just think you're going back home or back to your office unless you put an event you know, at the end of the day, if you have a doctor's appointment or whatever, you can put an approximate address um, and it'll read off that. So, so the so the big picture here is that remark.re is making it super easy for the photographer to be efficient with the photographer's time. Because you're doing all these calculations of, okay, this job will, because that's a, a 3,500 square foot property in zip code, da, 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 and it's going to take me this much time to get there based on historic traffic and then go from there to the next job. It's doing all this calculations that the photographer might be thinking, uh, if you get a text, say, oh, could I do that job? Well, uh, gee, how far is that? Oh, well, what time of day is that? So photographer doesn't have to think about any of that. It's just yeah. magically done. Yeah. Easy peasy calculations of time and money. Yes. And like I, I hate, I hate doing that. <laughs> That's, you know, that thought process. Do I really want process. to be driving yeah. in traffic? Uh, and the and easiest so way I, to, to explain it, the easiest way to explain it uh, I know you're going to move, move move that light there. The easiest way to explain it is from from the clients. Uh, we're just trying to be green and efficient by reducing our carbon footprint of the number. I of, love that. Yeah, the number of miles that we're driving uh, to 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 do our shoots. Oh, by the yeah. way, I'm, I'm a busy photographer, but I got clients that still want to shoot. Is there a way for them to be on a waiting list for somehow, or or is is there? Is yes, there... actually, yes. Um... Did you you must have read that on the features because I forgot to bring that up. So, uh, yeah, and that's obviously a problem. Um, sometimes a year it gets super busy and you actually don't have the time. And that's when I would be like, oh, maybe this instant booking thing isn't a great idea because I, I don't want to lose any of those leads going somewhere else just because they go on my site and see I'm not available. So we made it so they can subscribe to availability alerts. And essentially that just shoots you a text message and says, hey, this person is waiting uh, for a time to open up on this day. And it tells you how long the appointment's going to be. Um, so, you know, sometimes I'll have like personal time blocked off at the beginning and the end of the day, and I'll be willing to like move things. Yeah. Or, so I'm confused. Yeah. Does is it is the real estate agent essentially going through the buying experience? So you you do know that that's 3,500 square feet. They want Matterport photos, video, floor plans. Uh, and uh, so you know how long it's going to take to do that job, how much that job's going to, to pay. Now uh, it's sitting in, a, in a, a queue. And if that opportunity comes up on that day, it's going to email to the client to say it's now available. You got five minutes to book it. Um, it doesn't do that yet. Although that's something that we've kind of considered making or putting out onto the the main product, um, but it, you know, it, it doesn't really happen a tremendous amount. Um, so, so it just, it basically just tells you what you need to know. And it tells the agent that, Hey, sorry, you know, the availability doesn't show for that day, but we're going to see if we can do anything and we'll keep you posted. 
Okay, sounds great. Two last questions. Yeah. Is, there, is there anything we haven't talked about that we should be talking about on remark.re? Um, the confirmation page, I think, is really cool. And uh, maybe I don't market it very well, but it's I think it's very useful. Um, and it's a newer feature. So we don't really use this for my own personal business yet. Um, and I want to uh, because we have video that's embedded in it. So you can put your own video saying what happens next. Um, and then, uh, you, I mean, you don't have to put a video. You can put just text uh, and it shows the cancellation policy. And it also gives that sharing link, which I think is important because there are a lot of times you get people that that have assistance or they're booking it on behalf of somebody else. Um, and this is just an easy way for everybody to stay in the loop. Um, so that was the one thing that I, I really like as a feature. Um, and then all the travel and location stuff. The only one thing we skipped over there was you can add a buffer too. So in addition to the traffic, if it's a 30 minute drive, I add 10 minutes for parking and, and whatever. Um, so that's last, customizable. Last question. I know we've talked for quite some time now about remark.re, but if you got on the elevator and, and I go, hey, Alex, what do you do for a living? What are you going to tell me in 30 seconds by the time we get to the 20th floor? Oh, my God. Um, I mean, I make software uh, and I love making software. I like making videos. I like taking pictures, but this has been my uh, my brainchild for a while now. So I would tell you it's instant booking for traveling service providers who want to be able to fit more bookings into their day. Are we at the floor yet? Remark.re. So uh, uh, check it out. Uh, Remark.re, www.remark.re. Uh, uh, remark.re has a free tier, uh, so you can take it for a spin at no charge, or there, uh, there's at least one package there that you can sign up today. Uh, uh, Alex, thanks for being on the show today. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Dan, and appreciate all you do. Thank you. Uh, we've been visiting with Remark founder and CEO, Alex Gustafson, and uh, I'm Dan Smigrod, founder of the We Get Around Network Forum, and you've been watching WGN.